hello everyone welcome to the new video on azure and today i'll show you how you can create storage account within the azure portal so let me log on to my azure portal by using my credential i'm using the trial version so if you want to try this out you can uh, register within Azure portal the first 30 days are free and uh, you get $250 Canadian to try this out so as you can see I'm on the user interface using my trial version and the first thing you want to do is from the left pane you will select storage accounts and you will click on the add button and uh, under the create storage account you'll give a name so let's give the name Grish Azure storage account so you got to make sure that uh, you have never used this name before so let me give the name Grish Azure Storage Demo. So when the green check mark, it means that the name is as per the standard and what Microsoft uh, recommends. So as you can see that the green check mark is there. Now under the deployment model, you can either have a resource manager or a classic. Now after 2014, Microsoft recommends that you use a resource manager deployment model so we'll select resource manager and under the account kind you can either have a general purpose or blob storage azure has different tier option available so for this demonstration we'll leave it to the general purpose and under the replication now you have a couple of options you can either have a zone redundant storage locally redundant geo redundant and read access geo redundant storage what does that mean is uh, Microsoft replicates the data across the data centers. So if you select any of these options, uh, there are different options available when it comes to replicating the data across the data center. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'll leave this to the default and you can also have the storage service encryption. Because I'm using the subscription, which is a free, so uh, it is free trial. And for the resource group, we'll give the name Grish resource group and under the location you have the option of selecting where you want this storage account to be hosted so as a, again as you can see that I have red exclamation marks so what I have to do is that I have to change it so let me make it grish resource and if I will want my storage account to be hosted in Canada East data center and I will select the create button so as you can see that under the notification the deployment has been initiated and if I click on the notification it is in the progress state So the deployment was successful so let me just come out of this close this and if i go under the storage account you can see that i have my storage account with the name grish azure storage demo now what you can do is now you can add the logical containers into this one what we'll do is we'll leave this for our next video i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day